little bit about this movie and your character that you play. Um, this movie is almost kind of a, a day in the life type thing. It's probably a span over a couple of days. And it's just about a degenerate gambler that is in love with danger. He just, it's kind of his albatross, you know, he was born that way. And it just gets his adrenaline going, whether it's gambling or whether it's maybe accepting proposals from people that he shouldn't be. And um, he gets tangled in a pretty weird web. And uh, it's pretty interesting how he gets himself out. Now, is there one memorable scene that you can give us a little hint into for the well, audiences to expect? I feel like we were smart and that we got actors that are just a ton better than me. <laughs> so we just kind of gave it to them. But no, no, I got to work with some of my favorite actors. You know, when we were getting together on the film and I said, hey, can we get Ted Levine? You know, hey, can we get Benny Jones? You know, hey, can we get Tia Carrera? You know, these people that I wanted to see and work with, they were like, yeah, for some money. Yeah, for some money. So I kind of kept shelling out money to get these folks that I really wanted, and I'm so glad that I did. Because, um, you know, if a movie's about nothing else, it's about moments. And I think that every scene has a great moment, and we link them together. So, fingers crossed, it's a pretty vulnerable performance by me. It's not G-rated. I think just about everything in my career has been, so we'll see. Yeah, you've been on CSI for 14 seasons now. Now, what has that experience been like for you? Um, gosh, it's like a book that has chapters, really. Mm -hmm. You know, I could tell you what, what the chapter's about now. But, I mean, for me personally, you go through everything from thinking I'm a big movie star and I'm going to leave, you know, to to being realistic about that. <laughs> There's only so many, you know, Tom Cruises in the world. You kind of have to make your own luck. You, um, there's something about just sticking with it, you know. There's a lot of times I felt frustrated. And just the fact that I stuck with it and tried to just improve as an actor, you know, and just try to look at it as, hey, every day I'm learning something. What am I learning today? When I'm not acting, maybe go on set and hang out. And really what happened is with this film, I stumbled uh, across a skill. I, I hit enough golf balls where I can actually do good in a tournament. You know, I actually, it took a long time to get here, but it was from just watching at work. And so when we were shooting, I'd be like, hey, you know, I got an idea. <laughs> They're like, what? And you said most of your roles have been G-rated. Yeah. Is there one role that you're dying to do that you haven't done yet? Um, I think I've always, I've always had an interest in World War II this stuff. Guy's a star. Just <laughs> hire him already and make him leave. <laughs> I've always been fascinated with World War II stories and Civil War stories. Um, I could totally see you playing a soldier. I would like to to do a war movie, and I'd like to do like Thin Red Line, man. Do like a Civil War movie and reach out to all the guys from Clooney to Barry Pepper to Sam Rockwell and just make it gnarly and awesome. Um, that'd be cool. 1863, there was uh, amazing roles uh, the women played during the Civil War too, so it'd be kind of cool to tell some of those stories. I got I got a high speed car chase going on. <laughs> Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah. I can't wait to see the film and have fun tonight. No, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. It's it's a small thing, but it's kind of like I'm hosting a party, so I appreciate it. Thank you. Watch, we're going to hug now. <gasps> Yay. She's too cute now. <laughs> Thank you.